What's up guys? Well, today I'm going to be making baked fish with lemon cream sauce. What you're going to need is five, six ounce fish fillets. I'm doing tilapia. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter, one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream, one to two garlic cloves minced, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, salt and pepper, one and a half tablespoons of shallots, which is French onion. I love shallots because they're a little bit sweeter than your normal onion. So one and a half tablespoons of shallots, um, fresh parsley and lemon slices to garnish, but that is optional. We're going to rinsing our shallot. So open this up really quick. Open the package really quick. And then also you're gonna need a baking pan. a big bowl so that way we can mix our sauce together so we're also going to need to preheat our oven to 390 degrees Fahrenheit preheating just going to mince our garlic it says one to two garlic cloves but I have three but they're kind of skinny so I chose three and then one and a half tablespoons of shallots, minced. I'm just going to do one whole shallot. That's what I'm gonna do. Minced garlic. I'll show you guys the process here. All right, that really quick. Ooh, garlic just shot across the room. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Been in the mood for some fish. Yesterday I made a uh, tilapia with mango salsa. It's one of my favorite things to make. Mango salsa is so delicious. Alrighty, that's pretty good. Shallot, and then we're just going to mince it. So I'm gonna take the skin off really quick and I'll be right back. Shallot, and I love these. Like I said, they're like kind of sweeter compared to normal onions. Not as strong and they don't make me cry as much as a regular onion, so start my camera. I'm just going to cut it in half and then mince it like that. Go from there. Just like you would mince a regular onion. I'm gonna make some slices here and then just like that. So far I am not crying from the onion, which is great. Ooh, okay, spoke too soon. My eyes are watering. <laughs> spoke too soon. The recipe says now on what we should do. Let me see here. Oof, my eyes are watering. Place fish in a baking dish and stir the fishes and cream them too snugly. So you can sprinkle your fish with salt and pepper or you can do seasoned salt. I, I made a homemade seasoned salt. Salt. And I use this on my mango my tilapia with mango salsa, so good. So I think I'm gonna use this for the fish. Maybe like, also like a pinch of regular salt and regular pepper, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. But you guys can just do regular salt and pepper if that's what you have. It's totally up to you. It's the fish. Making sure you guys are still with me because the camera has a tendency to cut out. All right, so here's the fish, tilapia. So yeah, I chose tilapia. You guys can do salmon. You guys can do codfish, whatever you guys prefer, whatever your heart desires. Codfish is kind of mild. I'm gonna put this away. And then now I'm just going to add my homemade seasoned salt top of our fish. I can smell that smoked paprika. Pretty sure there's garlic powder in here. So yeah, lots of flavor. So our fish. I'm gonna set this aside. We're going to create our sauce, our cream sauce. So get yourself a nice big bowl. One fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. One fourth cups of that. So I gotta go grab a measuring cup. One tablespoon, I believe. This works. Never mind. Measurements in this cup here. So yeah, take this out. Actually, gonna do a little bit over one fourth cup. 
it only measures to one half cup, so it's not going to be super accurate. I'm gonna do half a cup. I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm gonna go against the recipe, <laughs> like always. I pretty much go against recipes, so. I'm doing half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Our oven is preheated. So let's go ahead and whip this up really quick. Our delicious cream sauce. But I need to read how, how I'm gonna make this. Okay, I'm gonna do 1 4th teaspoon of salt and pepper in the bowl. Salt, boom. Black pepper, 1 4th teaspoon. I'm going to slice this lemon really quick and we're going to add one and a half. Let me just double check how much. One and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, you guys, so I have half of my lemon here. One and a half tablespoons. That's perfect. Pick these little seeds out of the bowl. That would be gross. Okay, so far we've got this in our bowl. Let's add our heavy whipping cream into the bowl. Boom. Just like that. Just like that, just like so. All right, and we're going to scrape the excess out of the cup. Put in unsalted butter, four tablespoons, also one fourth cup, four tablespoons. Oh, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. It's not coming out. <laughs> okay, so that's the butter. Okay, you guys, so you're gonna need one heaping tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mm, I love mustard, and spicy mustard, regular mustard. So one tablespoon of Dijon mustard in the bowl. Now let's place our garlic, our minced garlic in the bowl. Just try to give it a little stir before we put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. All right, that's good. Pull in the microwave, 30 seconds. It out, stir it up really nicely, put it back in the microwave for 30 seconds. Go ahead and put some of this stuff away while that's in the microwave. Cooking up some rice with my fish. The bowl is out of the microwave. We're going to stir it up because the butter is still really cold. So we need to put that back in the microwave. Place it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. And we will stir it one more time. So our sauce is nice and stirred up again. Let me show you how it turned out. Really nice and smooth. Still a little bit of clumps of butter, but that's okay. It's gonna melt once we put it in our oven. So yeah, that turned out to be pretty good after two 30 second intervals. So let's go ahead and place this on, or um, pour this on top of our fish. And then we're going to, oh, forgive me actually. I believe we are supposed to sprinkle our shallots on top of the fish before we place, before we pour the sauce. So let me make sure. Yep, sprinkle fish with the minced shallots, then pour the sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. Make sure you guys are still with me. Okay, so shallots all over the top, nice and even. How did I get a seed? Got a seed in there. All right, sprinkle the rest of the shallots on the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're gonna pour our sauce, all of our sauce poured on top of the fish. We do not want to waste anything. We want to waste nothing. Want the fish to be super crammed, so try to make sure the fish is not overlapping one another. I kind of overlapped the fish, so just make sure not to do that. Bake it for 10 to 12 minutes or until fish is just cooked. I'm gonna put the fish in the oven. Okay, you guys, so I have the fish with cream sauce. Put a lemon on top. Fish with cream sauce, and then I made some basmati rice. 
smells so delicious. Oh my word, I can't wait to try it. I think I've made this before in 2021. It looks very familiar. Wow. Oh my word. Okay. Mm hmm. I think I've made this before. So good. Garlicky. You can taste the shallots. Lemony. Overall, just delicious. This sauce would be good on chicken. I feel like even, well, maybe not beef, but chicken for sure. Wow. Mm-hmm. Simple ingredients. Wow. Just have some water. Look at my cup, I got this at H Mart. Isn't it cute? This is so good, wow. Hope you guys are <clears throat> eating something with me. Maybe you're eating this. It's delicious. And I kept, <clears throat> I kept the fish in for a little bit longer because I just wanted to be like super sure that the fish was well done because I like it really well done. So I kept it in for about 15 minutes instead of 15 minutes instead of 12 because I just wanted to be sure that it was really cooked. And I'm glad I did because um, the fish is super well done. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm well done. Oh, there's some rice. Some rice left. I'm just cooking. Cooking. I guess it doesn't matter because this is the end of the video. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's it, you guys. Bye.